Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do a review of two different screen recorders that I'm using for my YouTube channel. Now, the reason I have two screen recorders is that, you know, depending on the purpose that I'm recording, if it's a tutorial or a gameplay, I need to use a different screen recorder. And I'm going to get into the details about that in a second. Um, first of all, if you're interested in doing some sort of gameplay or tutorial recording, you should ask yourself three questions. First of all, uh, the program you're looking for, is it cheap and affordable? Because you want to make sure that you don't spend a ton of money on really expensive programs because a lot of these program developers, they really know how to overcharge for programs when you can get other stuff for affordable affordable price that is a lot better. Um, and both these programs are affordable. They're very cheap. They cost around, uh, what is it, like $37 for Fraps, and I believe it is $30 for Action if you just want the home use. If you want the uh, commercial use for Action, then it's $50. Now, the second uh, requirement is that is it easy to use because I don't want to sit and spend at least an hour having to get to know this program before I can start recording stuff. If I need to sit and spend a lot of time learning to use the program, I'm already uninterested in it. Now, both these programs are also really easy to use. They only take a few moments to get to know, and then you can start recording, which is another good thing. The third requirement that I need to have in order for this to work is that I need to make sure my screen recorder records in real time. Believe it or not, a lot of screen recorders out there when you want to record something and you want to record your audio, you know, in another program next to the screen recorder, if you were to merge these pro uh, these two recordings in post production, sometimes in some screen recorders, after a couple of minutes, the sound starts to be off, like it's not gonna fit with the screen recording anymore, which gets really annoying because it it means that the screen recorder either records too fast or too slow, so. You know, both these programs, well, actually, there's one point I need to get into here because Fraps, if you want to use Fraps, this is Fraps over here on the right side, uh, the left side, as you can see. Fraps is really good for gameplay recording. If you want to play video games on your YouTube channel or something like that and you want to, rec you know, record it, I recommend using Fraps. It records completely in real time. There's no issues there. The only two little problems I have with Fraps is that the file sizes, you know, the raw file after you're done recording, are pretty big. Um, if you want to do Fraps recordings, I recommend getting an external hard disk or something to record onto. But after you're done with post-production, you know, after you're you know, done editing your clip and stuff, after you export it again, the file sizes will decrease with a lot, like you know, more than 20%, uh, uh, 200% or something like that. I don't know. It's going to decrease a lot. It'll go from like 20 gigabyte to 500 megabyte, which is a lot. The other thing about Fraps is that if you're on Windows 8, like I am, Fraps cannot record your desktop. This tutorial I'm doing right here is, you know, my desktop. I'm not inside an application, which means that Fraps cannot record this. And it's because, you know, Fraps has not learned, or at least, you know, at the moment, the people who made Fraps has not you know, made it compatible with Windows 8 yet. Um, so, you know, that's a big problem for me, especially because I do a lot of tutorials. There's this little feature down here that says monitor error desktop, which means that it will record the desktop, but that is only if you have stuff like, I don't know, Windows 7 or a Mac or something like that. For Windows 8, this is impossible at the moment. At least you would have to install some other program that sort of, you know, takes a picture of your screen or record your screen and then you need to record that program and you know it gets really complicated um action screen recorder will record your desktop no matter what which is awesome it even has adjustable frames you can choose which part of the desktop you want to record it also has where you can go into like you know do you want to record gameplay and applications which is also awesome the only issue there like the only downside to action, the only reason I actually do use Fraps sometimes is that if you do some video games, action has an issue with recording in real time. Uh, the worst example I have is when I play Call of Duty 
and I recorded the gameplay with the application games and application tab here. It was actually I I just ended up you know just deleting the whole recording because I couldn't. I, every two minutes I had to adjust my sound with my video clip, which just got really frustrating. So you really need to be careful about you know which one you buy depending on the purpose. If you want to do tutorials. The desktop recording here that I'm using right now, not the games and application one, but the desktop one and the one with the frames will actually record in real time. I have had no issues with that one. And like I said, it's not all games. It's just a few games that I've had issues with with real time, uh, but it's enough to sort of ruin it. So if you want to do games, I really recommend getting fraps and not action. If you want to do games and desktop recording, I recommend doing action. If you want to do just desktop, of course, there's no reason to get fraps. So you can really get into an argument here. And, and most people will recommend fraps. And again, you know, if there's a way to record desktop on Windows 7, for example, or Mac or something like that with fraps, then of course you could choose fraps. Just know that Action also have more settings depending on what you want to record and stuff. You can choose like a high uh, setting for like the video size, how many you know, if it's 1080 pixels or what it is. So, you know, it has a lot more settings. You can actually see I'm, I'm recording right now in, in action, which makes us awesome. Um, that's really it. Um, you can t sort of take this information and then decide, you know, which program should you get. Uh, I hope I made this a little bit more clarified for you so that you know, depending on what you need to record, which one you should get. Of course, there's other screen recorders out there, but these are the two of like the five screen recorders I've tried out that works really great. So, you know, I hope you guys found this useful. Go ahead and leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe to see more stuff like this, and I will see you guys.